Well, hello, and thank you for joining me for another ITY video with top international IT executives. I have with me today Jim Booth. He is the COO of Sphero. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, just before we start, I thought you, if you could please tell us a little bit about Sphero and, and what it's most well known for. Sphero was a company that was started in 2010 at the uh, Techstars program. We're all about connected entertainment robots. Right, and, uh, and the namesake of Sphero is Sphero. Yes. And uh, what does he look like? Uh, Sphero uh, looks like this robotic ball right here. Yeah. And this is already like a third or fourth generation version of Sphero. This is. This is a, a Spark version, which stands for students, parents, robots, and kids. Let's it's just a have a quick version. look at the box there. Yeah, yeah. So here uh, is the box. It shows off its clear shell. Mm -hmm. And it's geared towards uh, kids that want to learn about uh, STEM, you know, mm -hmm. different topics. Uh, yes, science, technology. Uh, engineering and math. math yeah, correct. And and unlike remote control cars from you know 20, 30 years ago, all of this is controlled by your smartphone, iPhone or Android. Yes, they are all connected. Yeah. Now this product's only just launched, but another one that's just launched is uh, Dark Side Ollie. This one over here. Yes, this is Dark Side Ollie. We launched it recently in the Australian market. Now you had Ollie first of all, who was blue or orange and other colours. Yep. The dark side only, he's got a bit of a dark side. Can he you tell does. Us what, what is his dark side? He's diabolical, he's yeah. dangerous, he's devious, right? Yeah. So when, uh, when you're controlling him, he's not following your instructions, or what is he doing? He does have a bit of personality. Sometimes, you know, when you name him and you name him Tom, he says, yeah. come on, can't you do better than that? <laughs> so he has different personality <laughs> elements yeah. that are different than the, the, the light side. Uh, Ollie. So cool. very, very much allows us to bring that personality and experience to life. And I mean, I've written about the previous Ollie before, and there's some great videos showing kids, you know, setting up little tracks, racing tracks, and just having enormous fun with uh, with Ollie. Now, uh, but you're in Australia for something pretty special. Tell us about that. Yes, we're in, uh, in Australia to talk about uh, our new Star Wars product that we are launching on uh, September 4th at 12:01. Uh, and it is the new droid uh, BB-8 from the Star Wars uh, Force Awakens movie. Now anyone that's in the trailer would have seen BB-8 you know, bouncing across or running across the screen on his ball, but this is a modification of the original Sphero. It is. Uh, we've been able to make, uh, you know, basically make BB-8 come to life in a really cool way here. So Let's, let's do a quick unboxing. Yes, let's, let's unbox. So. Yeah. Uh, if you want to come and I can show you what yep. this unboxing looks like here. Uh, when you pull it open, we have done a basically this beautiful premium high-end box, mm -hmm. a box within a box experience. So it feels like you are getting your very own droid. You're yeah. not getting a toy. You're getting a droid from the Star Wars movie, right? Yep. Uh, you open it up, and there's Star Wars. Um, and I can show you this incredible uh, reveal or out-of-box experience. So. Uh, we Very have cool. uh, an induction charger, so three hours of charging gets you an hour of full out uh, you know, gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can take this out, but what it really looks like is it's right here. Yep, so, the one you prepared earlier. Yes, yeah, so here you go. Um, we have uh, the beautiful uh, BB-8, the playful robot that we've seen in the trailer that pokes its head around the corner. Um, We've been able to make this come to life in an incredible way. Well, tell us, yeah, how, I mean, what, before you tell us a bit of the technical detail, how is it that Sphero came to be uh, working with, uh, you know, Disney and Star Wars on, and then, and then, you know, producing one of their iconic new characters? Yeah, so um, we came about uh, BB-8 through being involved in the Disney Tech Stars program. Mm -hmm. uh, as part of that program, Bob Agger was our mentor, and he showed us the first BB-8 that was in a movie and asked us if we could make BB-8. Yeah, otherwise and, it would have had to have been CGI'd or somehow other, other, you know, made in some other way. Yeah, so Ian and Adam and uh, uh, our two co-founders and Paul uh, went back after a meeting and came up with a prototype in under four hours and sent it to Mr. Iger to show him that we could make this come to life. So uh, we were able to take the technology that we put into Sphero, um, add this incredible head, and Which is the, magnetically sitting there? It is uh, it magnetically off? attached. It yep. can come off. Uh, we cool. also uh, make use of firmware and software to, uh, you know, to make the head uh, seem very realistic and stay upright when yep. it needs to. Um, so we have this: the ball can turn and the head can stay on in a really uh, very, very authentic experience, uh, very true to the BB-8 character. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and well, that's that's sure to be uh, an absolute hit. 
Uh, we think it's going to be amazing. The, the Star Wars and Lucas community is absolutely you know, crazed around uh, this new movie. And unlike uh, like most of the toys that you get from Star Wars as you were a kid growing up. I mean, they were powered by your imagination, but this guy's powered by electricity yeah, <laughs> and your is, imagination. This is, this is the droid you're looking for. It is, yeah. uh, it is a real droid. Uh, internally in our company, we don't say that we're giving you a, uh, you know, a toy. We say we're giving you a droid. Sure. Now you said that it, it was uh, four hours to do this sort of initial development, but um, I mean, it must have taken longer to to develop it than that. Yeah. After the initial, just showing a quick prototype, it took us about ten months from uh, basically deciding that we were going to go ahead and do this to final prototype ready for, uh, you know, product uh, sure. to be in market. So let's just quickly look at the box there. I mean, and and this will be available in all the stores that you can currently buy a Sphero products, which includes Apple stores and JB Hi-Fi's and everything else. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is very cool. Now, uh, what's one of the features that you most love about BB-8? Uh, and you can sit down if you want. There's an absolutely incredible feature called holographic messaging. Oh yeah, um, yeah which we've seen from R2-D2. Yeah, so all droids have holographic uh, capabilities and mm -hmm. uh, BB-8. Uh, has no a holographic yeah. uh, capability that's absolutely amazing. So he's so this little unit can actually beam something out. It's got a little projector. Yes, through it. augmented reality, we can film uh, a holographic message ah, okay. and then play it back. Right, very so cool. So you have the ability to film your own messages and keep it resonant inside the app. So shall we have a quick look at him in action? We can running around. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay, so I don't know if you've got to grab your phone or. In fact, the actual the app itself is pretty special. It is an incredible app. I'll go ahead and, and power just, it up right now for in. you to be able to see. Yep. So it's uh, Bluetooth Connect, and of course you can hear the amazing Star Wars music. Yep, so, and of course there's BB-8 <laughs> hearing right in front there. And he's connecting yep. uh, via BTLE, mm -hmm. he's connected now. So we have a couple of different types of... Uh, there goes his head already. Yeah, so around. you can see him coming to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Very realistic, you see that's this for sure. character. Uh, playing out. And we have a couple of different types of gameplay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Drive. Yeah, which looks like Hyperdrive there. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you could actually see uh, the interface here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is how you can oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, orient the robot. Very nice. Uh, by moving around, this is uh, the drive pad that you can drive oh, him with. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, now, you want to put it down on the ground? I can just... Uh, yeah, sure, I'll drive him around yeah, for you. Sure. Um, so, let me flip it around to whatever orientation you like, and mm -hmm. I can drive. Uh, BB-8, so uh, we'll bring him back. Bring him back for you here. Wait, oh, I, I, can, I can't quite see him there. Oops. Let me just bring him back out here. Here he is. And so the BB-8 that's in the in the movie, it's a much larger version of this, right? The BB-8 uh, is probably about this tall, mm -hmm. right? So uh, a full life-size version of it. Yep. Because uh, I remember seeing it come on stage at one of the one of those comic con type videos I remember seeing just recently. You know? Yes, Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams brought him to life here recently and had him out on stage. And yep. of course, with uh, technology powered by Zero. So. And was that would that have been coming being uh, controlled via a smartphone, or would that have had a dedicated control pad of some sort, or maybe even an iPad? Uh, some of the magic that Disney was using, I'm uh, I'm not sure. Not allowed to uh, say. Yeah, sure, but yeah. we can definitely make a big BB-8 come to life and have it uh, controlled by a um, smartphone. Yeah, there we so go. So I'm just taking him around really easy. You see how he's he drives awesome. Drives very authentic to the uh, the experience you see on screen. On the movie, yeah. Well, kids yeah. are going to go absolutely nuts. Yeah, so I can just imagine the kids are going around so fast with it they'll they'll hit the side of a of a, like a chair or something and his head will go flying off. <laughs> yeah, you know we've had some incredible play tests with kids just giving us feedback on the app. So this is the driving portion of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we have uh, different animations that we can have come to life. This is BB-8 saying yes right here. See him. Just so do that again. Oh yeah. Him, yes. Yeah. And then we have him saying no. So. Just him saying no. Uh, yeah, I can hear he's making little noises too. Yeah, yeah. So it's we'll uh, get. Them. Yeah. So there's okay. no. Yep. Uh, I'm do the yes him. again. Uh, this is him getting excited. Yep. Some different <laughs> animations there. Looks like maybe he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Not joking. drunk, just getting excited. <laughs> That's it. Um, and then yes, you asked for? Yep. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this there is what we go. just said there, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, an up and down. And then we have other animations that you can see here on the drive screen. Uh, you just can do move it down a little bit down here, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Some other animations. I can actually make, you know, have him do a, you know, a, a rectangle here on screen. Um, so. What's he, what's he, what's he going to uh, do? Right now, he's just... Uh, he's thinking. He's, well, he's actually just looking out and, and uh, getting ready to patrol. So let me show you some of the other features sure. involved. Uh, we talked about holographic messaging. Mm -hmm. um, here's a holographic messaging feature here. Um, I just would hold it up to my face and uh, I'll be able to do a whole graphic message right now. You'll see it. Yeah, it's upside down. Yeah, down. so let me, uh, there we go. The force is strong. So now it'll transmit that mm -hmm. uh, to BB-8 and it'll be one of my holographic messages that I can play. The force is strong. So when I... Oh, the force is strong. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we can see the it. Force we can is strong. We can see it there. Yeah. Yeah. So help this, me, help me, BB-8. You're my only host. Yeah. Strong. Help me, BB-8. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, then we have the ability to take BB-8 and have him patrol. So under this, BB-8 will just move around the room. On his own and patrol. We He's have, hiding underneath. There. Yeah, he'll he'll hide. He'll come back out. But you can see different features. We could show the accelerometer. We could show the temperature inside. Yep. We could show the gyro stabilization. He's moving all over the place right now. Yep. Um, but you can see all that uh, on. Is this also like uh, pet annoying mode? No, no, no. no, no. This is patrol mode. <laughs> patrol mode. But it may get a pet. Yeah. Uh, a little excited. So yeah. again, we're using all the sensors. All, yeah. yeah, all the sensors that are available on the droid. To... And so th there is actually a thermometer in there. Yes, yes. So we have a, a gyro accelerometer um, that can that can be used to. Uh, to hold it here so yeah, when you hold them, he'll start doing some of his personality and animations, right? So making him really come to life. And then we also have a feature um, for voice command. Mm -hmm. So voice command, I can touch here and I can show you all the different voice commands that are available. You just have to say, okay, BB-8. And from there, okay, BB-8. And I'll say, it's a trap. And when he says it's a trap, he'll kind of run away. Yeah, yeah. Right? You can so see he was, was trying to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll put him down. Oops, he's running away on me now. <laughs> uh, go to sleep. And he'll shut down. Oop. Maybe not. Okay. Oop. And he's lost his head. He's lost his head here <laughs> for a second. That's okay. That's all right. That'll happen. Uh, what do you think? He'll do an animation around, what do you think? What do you think? So there's look out, he's looking. Yep. So those are the core experiences behind uh, uh, BB-8. And no doubt, you know, because of software and, and an app, you'll be able to bring new, new things right. in the future. That's right. So we don't know the complete storyline behind The Force Awakens. So I was going to say there might be an opportunity for special things to come that's right and as we do well that's the beauty of connected play we can add more experiences that are consistent with the the force awakens movie has anyone ever told you you look a little bit like uh, jj abrams or he looks a little bit like you <laughs> that's a compliment uh, <laughs> well, i'd love to be uh to spend some time with jj so yeah. uh and hopefully here at some point in the future we'll get a chance to meet so do you think uh you might be working on some other robots in future star wars films or is it all still top secret uh, well, it is definitely top secret. We are all about connected entertainment play, and we we definitely see ourselves working on more licensed product in the sure. future. Well, that that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Now, I always like to ask, and it might be just easier to sit down again, sure, just sure. so that I'm not doing this at a weird angle. But we're nearly at the end here. I just wanted to ask if you could share the best piece of advice that you've ever received to help you get you where you are today, which um, looks like a pretty cool place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the from a from a business standpoint, one of the best 
pieces of advice that I've ever gotten is that, you know, as an entrepreneur, lots of people will tell you why you can't do things. Yeah. But the beauty of an entrepreneur is that you figure out how to solve those problems, is that you don't listen to the naysayers and you basically break through whatever walls in front of you to make things happen. And uh, that's been a critical piece of advice because along the way we've hit countless you know obstacles and as a team and as a company we've been able to overcome them and it may seem you know sort of like trite advice but it is really 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 true of an entrepreneur right, thank you, you very much for the break thank break you through the obstacles and um, any any you know potential sort of looking into the crystal ball any clues on how sphere our products might look five or ten years down the track Sure, we definitely see that uh, there's incredible sensors and technology coming to play. Mm -hmm. So we see ourselves, you know, definitely making connected entertainment robots uh, for Pro the home. Probably more uh, um, artificial intelligence as well. Yeah, definitely more AI, definitely more experience and personality uh, yeah. inside of our. So playful utility um, experience robots are, are things that we really think you'll see coming from like, hey BB-8, get me a drink from the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, he can launch yeah. the can at you like he's launching a he's, launching he's, a lightsaber. He's you know? reacting to that. He, he said, "Hey, BBA." Yeah. He's like, he's like, Maybe I do need somebody to wants to my attention." Yeah. So, do you have any final messages for ITY viewers and readers, and for your current and future customers, which I assume there'll be a lot of following BBA's introduction? No, thank you for your support. Uh, if you look at our success as a company, it's been through great customers and retailers here in Australia. And uh, you know, can't thank you guys enough for the support that you've given us. And everything that we've done um, has sort of been put into uh, products like these. So thank you for, for all your support. Well, Jim, may the force be with you. Thank you very much. May the force be with you. Thank you. Thank you.